Hey guys, what is going on? So I'm going to be reviewing Seven Seconds' his album The Crew today. So uh, yeah, this is a really, really fucking underrated and just fantastic. Uh, I guess I'd call it a lot of hardcore album. Just really good. I listened to this a shit ton in middle school. It's just an awesome album. So uh, yeah, so let's get started. Um, here's the album cover. I guess it's like a band photo. I guess it looks like they're like waiting in line somewhere or something. I can never really figure out what it was because it's really distorted, but you got the 7 seconds logo. And then it says the crew. Um, there's the spine on the back. You got the track listing and the credits. And also there's some uh, bonus tracks on here which are all live, so that's really cool. In my opinion, this is our best album. Some people will say uh, Walk Together, Rock Together was really good. Um, and I agree, that is, that's probably their second best, but it's not quite as good as this one. Um, so yeah. Uh, there's the disc. Um, so it's just, like, part of the album cover, and then the track listing. Not really much, or anything really special in the booklet. There's just the album cover. Um, lyrics on the inside, and then more of the lyrics on the back. There's a lot of songs on here. And, um, most of them are pretty good, which is one of the cool things about this. But anyway, 7 Seconds, uh, have kind of a unique style. They're melodic, uh, they're really melodic band, but they're also really fast. They're not like a band like The Descendants, where it's like, like they they could sound pissed off, but they could all they're all still very melodic. They're not like a band like The Descendants, where they're mostly just melodic and kind of white and catchy. Like just like to me, Seven Seconds are like a more melodic version of Minor Threat. They're like Minor Threat, but they sound a little bit less aggressive. They can still be pissed, but they're more like um just melodic, like and more they're more focused on being catchy than aggressive. Um, which is which certainly isn't a bad thing. Um, I have to be in the mood to listen to this, because I don't listen to it super often, but I was actually just listening to this, um, yesterday, and, uh, it's been, I haven't done a lot of album reviews lately, so I figured why not. Anyways, it opens up with the song, Here's Your Warning, which is fantastic, uh, really good guitar riffs, and Kevin Seconds, his vocals, he has a really unique style of vocals, because he doesn't really, like, most, uh, a lot of hardcore punk vocalists from the era of this band, in, like, the early 80s, um, did, like, you know, more harsh vocals with, like, screaming or whatever, or ranting, but he just kind of straight up sings, but he has this really uh, high-pitched kind of, almost not quite nasally, but just like a really youthful kind of sounding voice. It's really energetic, and to some people, it can sound kind of annoying. Um, and like bands like like the Misfits, or um, I can't really think of any other bands that do that, but they, they, just, they use a lot of like woes in their songs, like, you know what I mean, if you've heard that before. Um, but yeah, and their songs are just really fun and catchy. Um, anyways, Here's Your Warning is really good. The second song is a little bit slower, um, uh, shorter, not slower. And that's Definite Choice, which is also pretty catchy. Um, one of the things I don't like about the song is the production. Uh, the guitars are tracked really low, and the drums and vocals are both really loud. And, um, the bass is, is louder than the guitar, so that's, that's really weird, but it's not terrible. Like, yeah, the sound quality is good, it's just I don't like how the guitars are, like, mixed super quiet. But anyways, um, Not Just Boys Fun is one of my favorites from here. Um, it's a really catchy song, and, like, it's... The lyrics are basically about, like, uh, equal rights, I guess, or women's rights, but, like, I don't know, um... It, they're basically kind of like... They're, it's like they're talking shit to, like, a... Some sort of, like, really douchey, like, perv, I guess. I don't know. But, like, um, I really... One of the things about that song is, that's kind of funny is that... So, the chorus, they just say, um, Not Just Boys Fun, um... So, like, but for the second, like, for the first chorus, you know, you hear the band sing it, and then for the second chorus, what's kind of funny is that they all go, go in, like, a, like, a girly kind of voice, and they go, not just boys, fine, it's kind of funny, um, that was a really bad impression, but if you hear, you know what I mean if you hear a song, it's, it's kind of funny, but yeah, um, track four, this is the angry part two, I haven't heard part one, that song has so many woes in it, it's not even funny, um, but that's a really, really catchy one, um, and then, all the tracks after the first four kind of blend together, but that's not really a bad thing. Um, like, Straight On, You Lose, um, What If There's a War in America. I believe in that song, there's, like, this one part where he tries to do this thing, and a, you can see a lot of, like, more melodic punk bands did this, um, in, like, the early, mid-80s. Um, they did, like, this weird thing where it's, like, it sounds like they're trying to rap, but not really. It's, it's kind of bizarre, um, like, bands like Youth Brigade kind of use that sometimes. I wish I had some Youth Brigade shit, by the way. I really like that band. Anyways, so, yeah, um, and then there's the title track, which is pretty good, um, the lyrics, like, or just, or not the lyrics, just the vocals are, like, catchy, almost annoying, but not really, 
Like you have to, like I said, you have to be in the mood for this. Like, if you just listen to this when you hear when, when you hear something pissed off and aggressive, you won't like this because it's like really like catchy but repetitive, like kind of repetitive. So it's like you know, it's him saying the crew, the crew is you, the crew is me. Yeah, we're the crew. It's like um, I don't know. It, it's it's like you have to be in the mood to hear this. But when I'm in the mood, this is such a fun album. Um, so yeah, clenched fist, black eyes, colorblind, aim to please, um, all kind of blend together. Boss is a really good one. Um, and then there's pretty much the band's most popular song, Young Till I Die, which the lyrics are straight edge, and I'm not 100% sh sure if Seven Seconds are a straight edge band, but I know uh, that, like, definitely Young Till I Die is, um, it's definitely, like, a straight edge kind of song. But, you know, it's basically about being, like, Young Till I Die, he's explaining, like, how when you're young, like when you're a little kid, you don't like drink or do drugs or have promiscuous sex or whatever. And he kind of talks about that in the song. Like he's saying, I'm going to be young till I die, basically. So, yeah, it's a really fun and catchy song. Really good guitarist. And then, like, the rest of the song, a lot of songs kind of really blend together and aren't super memorable. That's not a bad thing, but it's just kind of um, hard to talk about the tracks individually on here. Um... Uh, the lyrics sometimes just are, feel a little bit lacking. Like, there's a lot of songs on here. So there's some, I wouldn't say skippable or filler songs. There's just a lot of songs on here where it's, like, I feel a little half-baked. Like, the song Bully. Like, there's one part where it's, like, there's one lyrics where he says, like, something like, let me read it. It's really weird. He says, um, um, we're fun, you're not. We play, you fight, you're off, we're not. That chip is all you got. Like, that chip is all you got. Like, I don't... It's just kind of, I feel like they kind of, that's kind of like a filler lyric, um, but it feels a little half-baked on that song, but it's not a bad song, it's just kind of the lyrics, I don't know, the lyrics just kind of don't make sense for that, but, um, the last song on the, technically the last song on the album before the bonus tracks, Trust, is really, really good. It's a more pop-punky kind of sounding song, and Seven Seconds, they're definitely a more pop-punky kind of sounding band, um, uh, like, like I said, they're a lot of hardcore band. But, like, especially later on in their career, like, I have another one of their CDs, which I don't really care for that much, that where they went pretty much straight up pop punk on. But, um, on the song Trust, it, it's, like, it's a really catchy song, and I don't know if it's, it's either about a, re a really close friend or a girl. I'm pretty sure it's about a really close friend, though, because, like, a lot of, like, more straight-edge hardcore bands have songs like that. But it's a really, really catchy song, so, yeah, it's a really cheesy, but it's really good. And then there's the bonus tracks, which are all live, and they're all pretty good. Um, here's your warning, Spread, I Have a Dream, Young Till I Die, Not Just Boys Fun. And then they have um, one of the songs that isn't on this album, that's like, that isn't on the studio album, uh, Rock Together, which is from Walk Together, Rock Together. I might get that on vinyl sometime. I saw it at the record store I shop at for like 10 or 15 bucks, which is pretty cheap. But I don't know, they're not my favorite band um, in punk, but... I listen to this every once in a while, and it brings me a lot of nostalgia from, like, 8th grade. Um, just a really fucking good album. I recommend this if you like bands like Minor, Minor Threat, or, um... It, maybe if you like bands like the more melodic bands, like like Bad Religion or No Effects. Or, um, even if you're into, like, um... Like, Youth Crew, you might like this. If you like Straight Edge bands, you've probably heard of this, because they're one of the more well-known... I don't know, if you search straight edge hardcore bands, like, no, um, I'm stupid, not no effects, I don't know why I said no effects. Seven seconds don't, no effects definitely aren't straight edge. No, no, um, seven seconds usually come up, but, um, you don't see them with, like, X's on their hands, or, like, you don't really, they don't really have a whole lot of songs about, like, anti-drugs or whatever, but, um, I don't know, um, uh, yeah, I was, was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, if you're into, like, Youth Crew, you might like this. So, like, Gorilla Biscuits used to today, you might like this, but it's not quite as, uh, aggressive as those bands. But, pretty good album, I recommend this, if you like just fun, melodic, catchy punk with some, uh, kind of meaningful lyrics. And, um, yeah, really good album, and, uh, really big nostalgia for me, I guess. So, yeah, 7 Seconds, The Crew. Uh, that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.